Okay, I have uh, here in Miami, oh, I live here in Miami and I have two kids. One of them go to school. My only hope is that my kids go to an Islamic school, but nobody is interested in working for the first thought. If you If you can, we want you to encourage people so something about this and try to work it. I thought I had bad head writing. I, I got the idea. A brother says, let me say this, there's no full-time school in this area? Is there? Not yet. Inshallah, it's the planning? You plan to do so? Okay, good. How far is that from here? Alhamdulillah. Brothers and sisters, there's going to get a, uh, there will be a time, inshallah, that there will be many schools in this area. In New York City, we have 17 full-time Muslim schools. And even 17 full-time Muslim schools in New York City, you should ask me the question, what percentage of our youth go to those full-time Muslim schools? What would you think? Less than 5%. That means even 17 full-time schools is not enough in New York City. What I would suggest to you is this. Alhamdulillah, make it in your niyyah, because I think, brothers and sisters, that we cannot do without full-time Muslim schools, personally. I believe that. And that uh, even the um, citizens of this country uh, have tremendous complaints about the public schools. Um, but what we did in New York City before we could afford a full-time Muslim school, we had what's called, what was called Project Prelude. We found uh, the best, what we thought the best public um, elementary school. I think it was uh, PS 173. And we went to the principal and said, listen, we have a lot of Muslims. We'd like to send them to your school. And we sent about 70 Muslims to that one public school. And as a result of that, they hired two Muslim teachers. We had a classroom that they gave us for Salat, for Islamic studies for Arabic, and we, they bused them to, to that school every day and took them home, and on Fridays they would go home early to go to Juma prayer service. You may say, well, what's the benefit of that? The benefit of that is that in the classrooms, instead of having only one Muslim or two Muslims in the school, we had seven and eight Muslims in each classroom. So they got a chance to be together. In the cafeteria, they were together. So until we had a full-time school, we had what's called Project Prelude, where we're able to, um, inshallah, um, get some, some benefit until we be, we're able to get our full-time Muslim schools.